Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look, if you could call this a look. Recently I've been traveling and I don't know, for some reason I was just like inclined to not wear foundation and try to come up with a way where I still felt good about myself but put together in a way by doing the least. So um, I started doing that and I actually felt so comfortable. It's no eye makeup, it's not any foundation, it's just spot concealing where you need to, kind of disguising blemishes into beauty marks and giving your skin that all over beautiful glow. Obviously you guys can customize this look. Uh, I'm not wearing mascara, I don't wear eye makeup with this look for the most part, but if you wanna do that, you could totally add that in. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Do I look good? You look great. Do I look tired? These are all trick questions. Don't lie to me. He's looking at me like, bitch, you look a little crazy, huh? <laughs> so I think all the like traveling and jet lag has finally caught up to me. Going to China, my skin was great the whole time there. And usually I break out when I'm somewhere, but then coming back, I have not slept. This is like the first time I've filmed since I came back, which I'm sorry, I apologize. I've just been like not myself and really sleepy. Hardly on snap, just like staring at the wall kind of crazy, but I think I'm coming back to normal now. Let's get this party started. First, when I do this makeup look, I use a brow stencil because my brows, if I do them freehand, will take me a lot of time. And this look is all about saving time, being quick while still looking incredibly healthy. And all I do is take the brow stencil and it kind of tells you where to line it up, right? So it gives you a little bit of a guide. And then I just kind of plop it onto my brow. I'm taking my, this is my Precisely My Brow by Benefit and it's in number four. And then I lightly outline the shape. This is gonna ensure that I have like the same brows on both sides. Just kind of want to give yourself a nice little guide. gonna look kind of like that because I didn't really uh, fill it in all the way. And then I just move on to the next brow. So now we're just gonna go ahead and give hair-like strokes through the brows. You don't wanna do anything too harsh because this look is pretty natural. And if your brows look too harsh and the rest of your face is very light makeup, it could be all you see on your face is just like, boom, brows. So I'm trying to keep the strokes very lightweight and very feathery here. China was so much fun. We had such a good time there. We went with really cool people. We have a vlog up on the Perkins channel. If you guys haven't already seen it, you should check it out. That is a quick brow for me. Usually it would take me so much longer. That's why I'm like into brow stencils just because sometimes figuring out the shape is the hardest part and then filling them in is kind of quick and easy. Okay, so now that we filled in our brows, I take my Fix Plus and I just kind of soak the spoolie with it. You can just use water, but as lazy. And then um, I take a bar of soap and I just run the spoolie through the bar of soap. I have a soap brow tutorial. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it in the description box. Just put a little soap on there or you could use brow gel. I like to use soap because I feel like it really holds my brows up in a fluffy manner. So I just run it through and give them like a feathery look. So see how it almost made it look like I have thicker hairs out here, even though we know that I have sparse areas. The soap really just made it look like, I don't know, it like thickens your brow hairs a little bit. If you feel like you lose any product when doing that, just kind of go back in and fill in those little gaps. That's good, I liked it. So lately I haven't been really wearing foundation. Uh, the whole Shanghai trip and then since then I haven't worn foundation except for the red carpet. I've been kind of just trying to conceal and moisturize my face and make it look a little bit more natural and I've been feeling really good about that. So this product has been key for the look I feel because strobe cream does give you that like supermodel skin. I don't apply it everywhere. I try to keep it at the high points of your face. This is in the shade gold light. This has absolutely no tint. It's um, a hydrating cream, but I kind of use it as like an all over, I wouldn't say highlight, but like a sheen so that when your skin is in the sun, it just has this like really pretty but natural uh, glow to it. Put it where you would put highlight though, like on the tops of my cheekbones. We put it here on the top of the brow. You don't want to put it in the center of your forehead, but just like on the sides here. And then I also take that and put it down the center of the nose and on the chin, but not on the pimple here because we don't want to highlight that. So moving around it here. This is the uh, Morphe G40. 
it's like a good brush to kind of buff product in, right? So like the edges and concealer and anything really. I, this is pretty much like one of the only brushes I used on the whole trip to do anything. Just wanna make sure everything looks seamless and not chunked up, even though you can't see much. Just like to pat it all in. Now we're gonna go into concealing. Actually, first let's uh, curl our lashes. This is really important for this look. Right now my eyes don't seem like open and they're small. I have small eyes, so I have to open them up with lash curler. This is gonna like pop my lashes. You know the drill, you know what lash curlers do, but it makes a huge difference for this. See how like now this eye's like, and this one's kind of like, and actually, I wasn't really wearing much mascara. I don't think I wore mascara at all. I just curled the lashes. You guys can kind of adjust to what you want, but this is just like what I was doing sometimes. And I feel like if you have smaller lashes that tend to go straight. So now it's time to conceal everything. My favorite concealer for that like natural no makeup look is the uh, Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. This one has such a beautiful finish. I will tell you it's not a full coverage. Um, it might not fully cover the redness of these breakouts, so we may have to like mix some concealers, but I'm gonna try not to first and see what happens. So I like to put this under the eyes, a very minimal amount. I guess that's like a normal amount of concealer. I get like redness right on this corner, so I have to pop it over there. Oh, the shade is medium. And then I'm gonna go over any spots or breakouts that I have. These are kind of all like these little healing spots that I have healing up over here. I don't know what I'm about to do with this one that decided to grow inside of my nostril, but we'll figure it out together. We'll get through this. I'm just gonna put it on the redness on the outer part of the nostril here. Okay, so that's it for now. Just spot conceal what you have going on. And then I'm using this brush to blend it out. Same Morphe brush. I like to blend the edges of the concealer out into the skin so it's seamless because like I said, when there's no foundation, you don't want it to look like concealer and then nothing. You want it to all seamlessly look like you got no makeup on. Blend out those edges, buff them out really good before I go into the under eye. Do the same thing on the other side. And then over the breakouts, I find it's better just to tap, not buff. Kind of pushing the product into the skin. That way it's like more, cause this is already such a lightweight concealer. If you buff it, it's gonna kind of take away any coverage that it does have. By patting it, it's still gonna give you a little bit more of a fuller coverage. This one I'm pushing really lightly cause this is a really red one today. I'm going to take my ring finger and lightly press into the under eye here. And for this look, I actually have not been setting my under eyes. I know that sounds crazy. For some reason, this concealer is so nice to where it's like, if you do crease a little bit throughout the day, you just kind of tap over it and it goes away. I just find like if I use powder, it makes my skin not blend with that no makeup look that I have going on on the rest of the face. It just, I don't know, it looks more cakey and dry. By using your finger to pat it in, the warmth, really melts it into the skin and make sure that there's not a lot of excess product. Just keep patting it. And then you can go ahead and buff this out. If you guys have noticed, this concealer isn't a lot lighter or a lot darker or anything like that than my skin. So it works on my face and under my eyes. And then I go over one last time, just kind of bouncing the brush over any edges of any product that I applied to make sure it all looks seamless. So now we have like a nice, even skin tone. Like I said, this, the point of this is not to look like you're wearing like a full face of makeup. It's kind of just like to look like skin. So if things are peeking through and stuff, that's like totally okay. This is the only part that gets like kind of intense and that's where we add the glow because the glow is like the most important thing to this look. This is the only part that's super unnatural, but looks poppin'. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. I like that name. Taking the mini beauty blender, I'm going to mix it all up and apply that on the highlights of the face. Then I don't wanna get the highlight everywhere, so I'm taking my regular beauty blender. You could use your finger and just pressing it into the high points of the face here. Put that on the bridge of the nose, the chin. Try to avoid breakouts if you have them. Like I just accidentally highlighted my breakout. It's okay, if you do that, you could just go over it with concealer after, no big deal. See how it starts to give you like a really healthy glow. And again, keep your buffing brush nearby just to go over all these edges and make sure it's seamless with your skin. 
You can definitely stop the glow there, but I did not. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Heat Wave Highlight. This is by Estee Lauder. And I'm gonna go over the high points of the face with this. I'm very lightly in circular motions, applying this right on top and taking it in that C shape, going around like this here. And then with my finger, I'm going to also go all right, you guys thought I was done there, but I'm not. I'm not done with the glow yet. So I was uh, using the new Becca palette. I was like, oh man, the, the highlights are really pink, which is hard to wear. I tried it on more of like the apples of my cheeks as like somewhat of a blush topper, and it looks so good. Chrissy Teigen has like really, really high cheekbones. I feel like that's where she applies this, and now I can totally see why she created it this way, because it looks really good on the tops of the cheeks. Uh, I use this one right here, this like peachier shade, and then I give a little smile, and see this high point right here where this highlight is? That's where I sweep it over, and you're gonna see that it starts to kind of like add a little color, like a little pink tone but it makes my cheekbones look like bigger. And the last item for the face is blush. And this is the blush I've been using. It's called Melba by MAC. So this is one of my favorite blushes. I've had this blush for God, so long um, when I first started YouTube. And actually, I uh, the first YouTuber I watched, which was Tanya Burr, this was like her jam, Melba blush. She used to always use this. And then that's why I was like, I need, I need that blush. And I still love it so much. So I apply a little bit of that right kind of below and like hug the highlight that we just applied. And whatever blush is left over on the brush, I sweep it across the nose because it can, it gives you that, um, you know when you come home from a day at the beach and you have slight redness, like a, I guess you would call that a sunburn, but like you're not at the really burn stage yet, you're kind of just looking like you've been out. I like that because it gives it more of a believable sun-kissed look, so I kind of just whoop. All right, so this is it. This is what the skin looks like when you're done. And because you used the buffing brush to blend all the edges of every product you applied, it's gonna look seamless and comfortable and like you're not gonna have that I have foundation on my face feel, which I really like. So the finishing touch is disguising any of your breakouts or clogged pores as beauty marks. I love to do this. I don't care if I have a different beauty mark and a different spot on my face every single day. That's just me. I think it looks beautiful. I love beauty marks, freckles. I think they're so pretty. Uh, for example, this one, we're gonna, we're gonna disguise that real quick. So I take a little bit on a liner brush, lightly press it onto our breakout here. Now it's a beauty mark. I have like a, like this little blackhead that just won't go away for, I don't know why it wants to live on my face forever. I've been just making it a beauty mark, so. Boom. Let's uh, let's visit this guy over here. Same thing. And I haven't dipped back into the eyeshadow. I've just been using whatever's on my brush. Mm-hmm. Gone. Now, instead of looking like I have bumps that I put concealer over, it just looks like I have some freckles or some beauty marks, what have you. Lastly is lip color. I wanna use something that makes my lips look natural just to keep with the vibe. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And it kind of looks like my lip color, to be honest. It's not too far off, but it just gives them an even overall tone. Brings a little life to your face because it does have a little bit of color. And this is it. This is the finished makeup look, if you could even call it like a makeup look. This is just my favorite go-to everyday look these days, which is crazy because a few years ago, my everyday look was totally different. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've been loving this makeup look. I think it's perfect for summer or spring or just like if you run into an ex-boyfriend or something, you're like, I still look so good. You know what I mean? Don't put that in there. <laughs> oh, that in there. That's oh, funny man. as fuck. That's staying. Is that staying? Okay. But you know what I mean? Like you don't want to run into like somebody at Trader Joe's from high school and they're like, oh, what have you been up to? And you look crazy. Oh, are you tired? <laughs>